Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around the 28th. So we're just going to see what comes up. Keep in mind that not every reading is for you, and the timing is fluid. So what do we have for around the 28th? Eight of Cups reversed. So this could be. Oh, geez, let me get another card one second. It could mean a couple of different things. Oh my God, the Knight of Swords, and I did see that too. So something, somebody could be coming back around. They could be coming in very, very fast. They're coming back. They're coming back for something. They're on a mission. Somebody is on a mission. It's like they left, but they're coming back, and they're coming back fast. This person, there's no stopping this person. Uh, they've gotten some sort of information. There could be a conversation. There's truth. You know, this Knight of Swords, this is, this is lit up. It really does. It's like... Uh, and there is no stopping this person. They are coming back. They are they left, but they're coming back, which is interesting. So I'm not sure who this is. Doesn't have to be a lover. The Knight of Swords is uh could be anybody that has some sort of information that they are and they're going to they're going to express themselves. There's going to be an expression now. The Eight of Cups reversed is somebody that, you know, could be shallow, superficial, that has been pretending to be happy. Now, this could, they may have left. I mean, they could be coming. They could be coming back to apologize because that is a sort of truth. Somebody may be coming with an apology. Now, don't get your hopes up, but this is some sort of. Um, information coming in there's no stopping this person they got something to say somebody's got something to say there's been a separation from this person and I don't know who it is it could be a friend could be a family member could be a lover it's somebody that has something to say and they're coming to say it they are definitely coming to say it they have no fear. This is somebody that is fearless. Has a lot of confidence. <laughs> Chariot. Oh my God. Somebody is definitely coming. Okay, they're coming. They are coming fast. This is this is this person is taking the taking charge, definitely taking charge of a situation. Very determined. So we have somebody here that is very very determined to take control of a situation. taking a journey as well so there's somebody is is taking a journey uh nine of swords so there's some sort of pain here there's been some sort of mental turmoil there's been some exhaustion there's been a lot of regrets uh, somebody has been having a hard time sleeping. They've been dreaming. They've been having a lot of negative thoughts. They've not, now they know what they need to do because it's plaguing them. They are being plagued by something that they left behind. They need to deal with it. So they are going to deal with it because they can't stop thinking about it. Um, this, this, there's some sort of pain here. Something hurts. They're being. They're dreaming about it a lot. They're. They did. They, it's just they're being. They're being um, really poked by something that they left behind. You know, they left it behind, and it, there's like unfinished business here or something. Uh. 
Ten of Cups. Now the Ten of Cups is this guy is on a mission, and this has to do with a relationship. With a relationship, Ten of Cups is about a loving relationship, about happiness. But tens are a completion. This is really about wish fulfillment. It's about happiness. It really is. Somebody is coming in. This person is wanting a relationship. They're wanting to have it all. So they are about to take control. This person has no fear. He knows what he needs to do. And he is about to come in really, really, really fast. There's been some sort of separation. Somebody has been really worried, anxious, depressed. But we do have somebody here that is looking for a relationship. They want to have it all. And they are about to make a move. Headed right towards a relationship. It's like there's been some stormy weather. But this storm is over as well. There's happiness. It's some, this is happiness. It is. Moving right into happiness. Now this is determined. We are a very determined individual. And this is a warrior or a fighter or something. Uh, fighting for a relationship perhaps. W willing to deal with any sort of opposition. We have an individual that is, is very, very mentally strong here. Has a lot of mental strength. Could be saying, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for making you worry. Or I'm sorry for something. Leaving. Or, I don't know. Sorry for what? Not putting in effort or something like that. Because this is the Eight of Pentacles. Now, somebody's about to put in effort. They are. They're going to put in effort. They're going to try to prove themselves. We have the Star card. So this is guaranteed success. This is a wish being... I knew it was headed towards wish fulfillment. It's like this is a renewal. Somebody is hoping, and they may be hoping for forgiveness. They're hoping that they can have a relationship or something like that. Now this is hope and healing. This is help arriving after the tower falls. So the tower has happened, right? The tower, something has happened, which has caused an upset. Now, now there's going to be a healing or there's still hope or there's going to be a renewal. Okay. This is the guaranteed success. The star is guaranteed success in a happy relationship. So somebody is about to speak up or, or come forth very, very fast. They're coming with some sort of information. There's going to be a conversation. They're, they're going to speak up. They're finding their willpower, or their mental strength to do so. They may be apologizing for not communicating or something like that. But they're hoping for forgiveness or they're hoping for another chance. Now this is, this moon is guaranteed success. Unexpected too. It's unexpected help arriving. You didn't expect it. Could be somebody new. This is a knight in shining armor. It really is the knight of swords. This is somebody who is honest. Somebody that is, uh, knows what he wants. The devil reverse right on. I'm gonna put it right here, and I'm putting it right here. I was gonna clarify. It's right on top of the, the chariot and the knight of swords. So this is taking control, taking control of a situation. We have an individual that is definitely going to be taking control. He he is he is. I think there's something you may have ended in disaster or ended superficially. Somebody may have left. They may have left because. Uh, they were feeling guilty for something or they were feeling anxious. Somebody left for some reason. They And now it feels like we have an individual that is coming in with some sort of communication. They want to, f it almost feels like they want to fix something. And I, I don't say that very often. 
They're going to fix it. Now the, the devil reversed is taking back control, taking control. Somebody's been in a deep, dark place and they've let, they may have let their ego or their pride get in the way of success. They may have let their, let their, their greed or ego get in the, get in the way of happiness because we have the star and the ten of cups, you know, but now it's like they, and you know, that's how that seeing the light, that, that sword is all lit up. It's like they're seeing the, the light. It's like. And this is breaking free from an unhealthy situation. And that could even be a mindset. Taking back control. Putting in effort to heal. Somebody is putting in effort to heal a situation. Or they're hoping for a chance. They're hoping for another chance. Now this is a wish being granted. They may see something as a wish that this... Hmm. Ace of Cups reversed. So somebody... Now the Ace of Cups reversed is... It's a very emotional time. Definitely emotional. There could be some tears. Okay? Somebody may have been emotionally blocked. And maybe they were blocked by their ego. There's a lot, there's a lack of emotional content here. Somebody hasn't, you know, they've been very unhappy and they're looking for happiness. And they may have missed an opportunity for love because of their ego. But now it's like now they see that there's this is a dream come true or something, something that they wished for and they're taking action to get it, which is interesting. Now this is a, this is a card of hope and renewal after being... Tied to a toxic situation? Ego? I think we have the end of a relationship because this is an end where there was a there was a lack of love. Okay? This is an ending. Tens are an ending. People forget to mention that, but I'm here to remind you. Okay, so this is a, this is the end of a loveless situation. There's a, something new here. I think that somebody may have, you know, missed an opportunity because of their. I don't know. Maybe it was fear. But they're coming back. They're coming back, and they're gonna put in effort. It's like now they see. They're about to come in fast. Now, if it's not somebody old, I mean, somebody is coming in fast, okay, with the chariot and the knight of wand or knight of swords. So this is a very. Uh, this guy is on a mission, and there's no stopping him, no stopping him at all. He's got some. He's about to do something that he must do it's like he must do it there's no stopping him he definitely sees an opportunity for happiness and wish fulfillment but has been unable to control his emotions for some had emotional blockage but now in control of emotions gonna put in effort and it feels like this is a desperate situation it does Mm, the magician taking action to bring success. This is a masculine energy that is willing to do whatever it takes to succeed. Okay? So we definitely have somebody coming in. Okay? This person is, has, is, is very strong, very skilled, and is definitely taking charge. And is very much focused on... success very much focused on a relationship now and they were in the past so it feels like they were they weren't seeing clearly or something but this person is very focused very focused on uh, proving themselves so we definitely have an individual that is coming in they are this is somebody who is very strong very self-aware 
um, very much in control now of their emotions and they're going to be communicating. They're going to be communicating uh, what they are desiring, okay? They're going to communicating what they, they're going to be communicating what they want. Whew, King of Swords reversed. Now the King of Swords reversed is dishonest. Cold and abusive. So there's some sort of coldness. It's emotional coldness. We, this person is emotionally cold. The Ace of Cups reversed next to the King of Swords. So this guy is cold. He doesn't he might not know what love is. Now this is shutting down emotionally as well. The Ace of Cups is shutting down emotionally. The King of Swords in reverse is somebody who is definitely uncaring. So this is this is a very cold individual who this is taking action putting in effort now the king of swords in reverse maybe maybe he was being dishonest with himself there was a lack of clarity he wasn't seeing clearly somebody wasn't seeing clearly they weren't seeing clearly about an opportunity for wish fulfillment the star card is on the bottom they, this person wasn't seeing clearly So death is an ending that leads to a new beginning, which I do see that. I do see that. I feel like we have an individual that is turning their back. They are, and they're moving in a new direction. And, and it's like they, they haven't been honest with themselves about an unhealthy situation that they were tied to. And it feels like they're breaking free with a devil reverse from that unhealthy situation that was emotionally unfulfilling. And they're headed towards something that leads to success very, 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 very fast. I think they're going back to somebody that they hurt. And I don't like to give that kind of message, but it feels like that's what this is. This is an ending that leads to a new beginning. It's a transformation. It's a profound life change. We have a masculine, and it is a masculine, and I don't care if you like me or not. It is a masculine that is taking action, okay? And he is breaking free from a toxic, unhealthy situation because he knows, with that knight of swords up there, that there is a better opportunity for happiness and success. And there's something to do with heaven here with that star card. It's like they, somebody was sent an, an angel from heaven. And there's an angel's wings here as well. So there's like an angel from heaven that is bringing this person. I think, I feel like it's towards happiness. They're, you know, death is death. So I'm not sure what is going on, but death is death. Death could be a death. With the Ace of Cups and the Star card, I'm just saying. And this is cold. So, I mean, I have to be honest with you. This is the end. And, and if you think about the devil, devil's hell. And I consider the star heaven. So we have heaven and hell right next to each other. Somebody has been living in hell. on earth and they're breaking free from that hell that's what they're doing because devil reverse is breaking free from hell taking action to go after a dream that they have been dreaming about 
So there is going to be some sort of movement, okay, with the chariot card. There's going to be movement and things are going to happen fast. And this person is headed towards success. They're headed towards triumphant success with the with 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 the magician and the chariot both together. I mean, this is success. And the and the star card, that's guaranteed success. There's renewal here. So there's some sort of movement in regards to a relationship. It's like one relationship is ending. It is. Tens are completions. Completion of a loveless situation that was based on lust or greed or ego. And movement into something more beautiful. With the star and the magician, it's more genuine. Hmm. We do have a new beginning here. We definitely do. Somebody has manifested because the magician is about manifestation. Taking action. We have a masculine and it's a masculine that is taking action. It is. To change something because death is change. A masculine is taking action to change. And it may be their behavior. Page of Swords reversed. Page, be, be, there's going to be a message that comes through. There's a message is coming that is probably going to be conflicting. It may make you feel conflicted. Okay? This person has been contemplating. They've been watching, perhaps. They've been waiting for the right moment. There's probably going to be a conflict of some sort. The Page of Swords is like a mild conflict. Somebody has been waiting for the moment to communicate. Communication is coming. From an individual that didn't put in effort when they were supposed to. Now we have the Emperor on the bottom. So this is taking control as well. Somebody is about to take control. This is an individual that is very masculine with the magician and the, and the uh, emperor. Uses his head, not his heart. Seems to be very hard and cold, which makes sense. Shows no weakness. Is ready for battle. He is about to take control of a situation. He is about ready to... Uh, Take action, put it that way. Get prepared to hear some sort of information that takes you by surprise. Now this is a boss. This is an alpha or a boss, or a leader that has made a decision and there is absolutely no changing his mind. Good luck. 